And you're good to go. So those are the marks to center the bars on the frame. Now you're going to apply the silicone in the angle itself, about a quarter inch bead. You then use your spreader and spread that across the entire angle. You can see a real thin coat goes a long way on these. Yeah, just, make just, sure. just covering the, uh, the little uh, serrations on the metal itself. Like that, that's all you're doing. And this, and then you're working it in. Just, just covering over the little edges is all I'm doing. Just like that. Okay. Taking this one here. Spreading it around. Just work it back and forth a little bit so you know you're getting a good seal. And, uh, And you just line it up with the with the marks right here. So again, a quick spread on the two short sides. Like that. And again, you don't have to overdo it with the silicone because it'll just squeeze out the ends. That's right. And then yeah, we're just going to work it back and forth a little bit to get a good bond going. Since we have a little extra on here, here I'll just use that. That's a great tip for your last frame, minimizes cleanup time. Take my gloves off. Take the drill. Yes. Then we're going to. Got to be 
and make sure that it's all the way down. Good bond on there like that. So once it's riveted like that, the clamps can come right off because you are fully attached. And on the long side, you're going to use three of the rivets instead of two. So we've got one more short side, one more long side, and the frame is ready to go. And again, the short side here will get two rivets. And you want those an inch and a half to two inches in from the edges. All right, now a quick wipe down and you are good to go. Well, another question everybody will ask at this point is, how long until this is ready to go on a press? You can stretch a fabric on it immediately. All right, so you heard it here first. You can stretch it immediately. <laughs> so hopefully that clears up everything for how long it takes to put one of these on, and enjoy.